Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I have a cool ass video for y'all today, so stay tuned. It took me a long ass time to get here. Um, this is the place where I'm gonna be filming today, the place that I'm gonna be showing y'all today. Uh, it's one of the oldest barrios, one of the oldest comunas, or as it's more popularly known, favelas in Medellin. This was, this began to be built in 1965, around 1963, 1965, and it's called Santo Domingo Savio. So it's one of the highest favelas in the north of the city. And I think it'll be really cool to show y'all um, just an inside look at how a normal day is here. Well, it's not exactly a normal day though because it's December 30th. It's the day before New Year's Eve. And yeah, let's fucking get it. I'm going hard with these videos this year. So, you know, tell your mom about it. Tell your homies about it. Tell your grandmother about it. You heard? Video's gonna be dope, all right? So we're here arriving at a little spot where you can see a view of the city. Sí, la la vez pasada que vine llegué hasta este mirador. Hasta este mirador. Y al puentecito de abajo también. Sí. Guys, so this is the metro cable. This was the first metro cable that was ever operating in Medellin and as a matter of fact in the entire country of Colombia. It began operating in 2004 and yeah it was the first metro cable and it really changed these neighborhoods because before the metro cable came into existence and gave people easier access to the rest of the city um, these really had no access to like the economy of the city so these barrios were like their own thing. They were very secluded from the rest of Medellin. Bueno, chao, pues. Es un descaro, es un descaro. No, 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 no. <risa> ya, ya le saco el tiro para ver. Yo, yo sé cómo que le dice, ah, marica, te cagas. Cruce, no, pero ese sí lo mata. Ah. No, ya. No lo mató con eso. <risa> <risa> Oye, esa casi la gano. <risa> casi, casi, marica, pero me gano. Ah. Hello. Alright guys, this is basically like a, it's a tattoo studio, but it's also combined with like a bar. They have an arcade, they have like a bunch of old ass stuff here. Um, and it's right here near to the Mirador, where a lot of people chill. There's like a little park. The metro cable goes right over. A bloodline tattoo. Yeah, yeah, bloodline tattoo. So that's the name of the place, bloodline tattoo. It's a cool place to have a drink, just chill out. If you're ever in Santo Domingo, the people here are mad cool and chill. Um, and it's close to the Metro Cable Station, so yeah. So we're gonna keep looking around, see what else we see in the hood. I got here kind of late. I don't know if I told you guys, I got here type late because the Metro was all fucked up. Apparently somebody fell on the tracks or tried to commit suicide. I don't know exactly what it was, but basically there was no service on the metro. I had to take the bus, then I had to get off the bus and then try to find the metro stations that were in service because I was coming from the south. So it basically was a nightmare to get something like three hours to get here when it should usually only take like an hour and 20 minutes. So anyway, I hope y'all like this video because it was really hard to fucking get here. And yeah, we're gonna keep looking around. We're gonna see, keep seeing what's up. My boy here is showing me around. And he's from here, so he can really give me like a cool perspective as a local of what it's like living here and cool places to check out. El Parque Santo Domingo, so it's like the main square here. And as you can see, they have some Christmas lights. People come here to chill, smoke a blunt. Look at the beautiful view of the city, as you can see behind me. And yeah, it's a really chill park. I fuck with the vibes here. Everyone's just chilling, everyone's vibing. Uh, there's a little trampoline over there for the kids. 
um, and like a little bouncy house. The metro cable goes right on top of it. And yeah, as you can see, it's a beautiful ass view of the entire city because of how high up we are. And you can see all the houses on the barrios down there with their Christmas decorations, with their Christmas lights. It looks dope as fuck. So yeah, we're here in the park, chilling, enjoying the view. We're gonna go walk around a little bit, see what I can show y'all. Even though it's pretty dark, um, I'm probably gonna come back another day uh, earlier because today the metro was a mess. I'm gonna come back earlier and I'm gonna, uh, you know, have more time and have more daylight to film and show y'all more things around here. So yeah, first part of the video will be, you know, today. Uh, show y'all the vibes at night and then I'm gonna come back. So stay tuned. That's the block that's right in front of the metro cable station. So you can see there's a lot of bars, there's a lot of stores, there's a lot of music, people selling things. You can see this is the station right here. This is where you can go down back into the city. This is the last stop on the metro. If you want to keep going up, if you want to keep going higher on the cable car, you can go to El Parque Arbi, which is like higher up the mountain, but that's already, that's like countryside at that point. It's no longer urban. Santo Domingo is basically like, uh, I wouldn't know how to describe it. It's like, it's not exactly a neighborhood because it's an area that's composed of multiple neighborhoods. So we're about to go check out his hood, see what's up. All right, so the homie took me up to the rooftop of his crib. And as y'all can see, it's a similar view to the park, but you can see a bit more because you're higher up. So here you can see a beautiful ass view of the city and over there is like the the end of the hood and it just becomes a mountain and yeah bro we really high as fuck over here Medellin is so beautiful bro look at how amazing it looks what a trippy ass city these are all the cribs vamos a la calle Oh, they got some chickens in here. They got a little chicken coop. Hola, gallinas. This is the block right here. All right, so it's a little congestion over here with the buses. These streets are so narrow. And there's a lot of buses coming through here, so there's always traffic jams. And as you can see, like everybody behind us on the motorcycles, waiting for this shit to clear up. So like, ¿qué lo que pasó ahí? El bus quedó muy at. So I think that bus made the turn like too close to the curb, and it got like stuck on the curb. So let's see what happens here. like this a motorcycle is a fucking skill bro it's a fucking skill a special skill bro these streets are so narrow sometimes you have to get through the crazy craziest little cracks and crevices bro just to get through look at this bro Crazy. I'm telling y'all, 2023, 
I'm going fucking hard with the videos. I don't give a fuck. I'm making mad videos in Colombia. I just been caught up with some other shit lately. But I promise y'all, dope ass content. States so I feel like I could really bring it to you in a way that that nobody else can look at these fucking views my guy Holy look at all that bro mm. look at this fucking all right guys we have the metro we're passing by this is like the part where there's more most traffic Y'all can see all the buses pass by here. Everybody and their mom is here. Everybody and their fucking mother, you heard? Tétrico eso. <laughs> 